The next tools are the lasso tools. Notice the lasso tools have the same options up here for creating a selection, adding to, or subtracting, or an intersection because these are also selection tools. These are basically doing the same thing that we did with the marquee tools, except that the marquee tool creates a standardized shape and the lasso tools create a freehand shape. Now there are three to use. The lasso tool simply draws a shape. Polygonal lasso tool, my personal favorite, you put in points and then it draws straight lines between those points. And the magnetic lasso tool tries to follow an edge. Now depending upon what it is you're doing, one or the other of these tools will be the best to use. Just look at the lasso tool real fast. Let's say I just want to do a real quick cutout like this. Just come around the lasso tool, loop it back onto itself, and it creates a freehand marquee, just like we did with our marquee tools up there. Let's just deselect that. You can use this tool to come in real carefully and draw around a shape like that. I wanted to be real careful about what I'm cutting out here but I found it's a little hard to use for that kind of technique. So if I'm freehand drawing a marquee, I'll use the polygonal lasso tool. In this one, you click and then drag like that. Or just click and move. And notice how it makes a line. Another click and it pins that position. Move around another click, it pins that position. Another click and I can then finish that off like that. Now, let me demonstrate how to use that. Let's say I wanted to come in here and clean out this little triangle right down there. I'm just going to zoom in on that side a little bit. There we go. You see the side edge right there. Let's go back to that polygonal lasso tool. Straight line here, real easy. So I'm just going to start right here in the corner. Click there and I'll just drag out for a straight line just like that and click outside. I can then come up here someplace, click outside, and then I'll come in and then click right around the edge of this rope. Now the rope has just a slight waviness to it, and I can capture some of that waviness by using this tool and just kind of clicking along that wavy edge and then finish it off right there. Now that creates a nice little marquee. Let's go over here to our layers. I'm going to make a copy of this layer right there. Something I tend to do, I'll tend to make copies to save my basic layer. I'm going to lock that basic layer. Let's show it, lock it, and hide it. There we go. I now can come in here and delete this. Hit the delete key and I cleaned out that section. Let's just deselect that. It has a nice little kind of a curved edge. The checkerboard pattern, of course, just denotes that there is a transparent section in here. Now, the reason why I did that is, let me just zoom out. We'll see what we're going to be working on here in the next couple of discussions. In this, I want to replace this background. Here's a submarine right there. Here's another, another ship back in there, some stuff in the harbor back in there. Let's say I want to have just a bit of ocean and some sky in the background here. I don't want to have all this garbage back here. I'll be using my different selection tools, mostly these tools, to delete the part of the image that I don't want. And let's go up here to File, Open. And I have a nice background picture here someplace. Let's just scroll down see if we can find it. There it is. I'll open up that image, float that. I'll drag that on top of this image. There we go. And that's going to be sitting in front. So I'll pull it in behind this image. And I'm on that layer so I can move that layer around. And there we go. You can just kind of see the edge in there. I'm going to go to this layer. Let's make this just a little bit transparent. Like that. So I can just see where the edge of the water is. There it is. That's pretty good. A little bit of water, a lot of sky showing. That's kind of what I want to have happening in there. Put that back up to opaque and lock that back in place again. So there it goes. Now as I remove sections of this picture, 
using my different tools, I will then be exposing that photograph in the background, which is my water and sky picture. Okay, let's go over here to our next tool, the magnetic lasso tool. And what this does is it tries to find the edge of something as I follow along. So I can click up here and I can just drag it along like this. It's going to try to find the edge of that shape. Now it's very good when you're on something with a, a high contrast or a high change. It's not so good when you're not. Notice that it, it's not grabbing anything in here. A little hard to see here, but it's not really finding that edge. So it, it's having a hard time down in that area. Very good up along this edge here. Not so good down there as you can see. So this tool, the magnetic lasso tool, is really good to use if you have areas that have a nice large contrast difference. It's fine for that. For instance, up in here, this tool would work out great. I'll just click on a spot right there and then I'll drag along those edges and try to find those edges. There it is. Now even here, it still didn't get into the corners exactly right. You can see right down there. It kind of missed the corners a little bit. And it missed the top up there. So it's a little iffy. It depends again upon your the image that you're working with. It may or may not be a good tool to use. Okay, let's just go back to our polygonal lasso tool. I'll click in there just to delete that. Now let's use this tool again and I'll get rid of this background section in here. Let's zoom in so that fills our screen as much as we can, make it just easy to work on. There we go, you can see the whole thing now. Okay, polygonal lasso tool right there. Click outside someplace and then just come in and I'll just begin clicking right along the edge of this rope and where the rope kind of curves a little bit, I'll come out and grab some of that curve here we go, come down here, straight line right there, that's easy. I'll come up along this handle right here. And just follow along again. What I'm doing is I am finding where I want to have that positioned and then clicking to lock that position in. and then it's working my way along the shape. Now when you're working like this you can always come back and modify the edge a little bit. I can come back in and using an eraser tool come in a little bit tighter on the selection if I wanted to or because I have saved that layer I can actually copy from that layer that I saved and replace part of the picture. Now when you finish off your image up here just going outside, I can stay outside and just click along outside any old place I want to like this just to get back around to the beginning. Now when you come back to the beginning again, see a little, little circle pops up right there? That lets you know that you've closed that shape. Click at that point and we've then closed that shape. I can now hit the delete key and expose that water picture we have hiding in the background. Okay, let's just Alt key and zoom tool and zoom out. And you can see what we're approaching now. What we're doing is we are removing the excess image we don't want and exposing the picture in the background that we do want, which is our water image. So what we're going to have here when I finish this is we'll have a nice close-up of a ship and then looking through the rigging, we'll see the ocean beyond. We won't have any of this harbor stuff hiding in here. So it'll be a real nice picture. Now you can see there's a little bit of a light edge along here, kind of a white edge. There are ways of fixing that a little later on. You can come in, we can maybe erase a little tighter in or just soften up the edge or we can do a defringe thing in the layer menu. Lots of ways of kind of cleaning up that edge. But there we go. That is how to use these three lasso tools. And again, this one here, the polygonal lasso tool, for me, this is probably my most used tool when making selections. You might have a different feel about that. 
This one that I find works the best. This one in conjunction with the magic wand tool if something is real easy to grab. So there we go. That's the lasso tool section.